Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. Come on, let's go read the inspiration for the day. It is only when we take chances that our lives improve. The initial and the most difficult risk we need to take is to become honest. And that's Walter Anderson. All right, let's cruise on over and see what I'm up to today. Okay, here's a mold right here. And it says it came from Timu. And I got it, looks like, in January of this year. And it's a really cute bee. It has a lot of uh, design inside of it. I've never created in it, so this will be my first time. And then this mold, oh, this one's, I bought this one in December of 2021. But I have made some beautiful pieces out of this mold right here. It's a half moon, and it has a B on it. Oh, look at that, you guys. I meant to, um... Uh, I meant to cut this out of my video and I left it in. Oh goodness. That is a piece of my Chihuahua's hair. He's no longer with me. And I just found that in my mold. My goodness. Okay. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at these molds right quick, and let me explain to you what we're going to do. Here's the little honeycomb pieces right here, and then here's the biggest bee, which I'm assuming is the queen bee. And then here's the parts where you can attach your string. And then in this mold, you have more honeycomb pieces, and then the smaller bee. Now, we're going to uh, make these honeycombs three different times, because I'm going to need those uh, pieces the way that I'm going to design this piece you know the strings will drop down you know and then this will be down here but uh I need more of those honeycombs so I'm going to have to do them I believe about three times and if we have leftovers then that's fine but I don't think we're going to have any leftovers maybe two at the most okay I'm going to use my Mars Black Gambling Black gambling mars black <laughs> spit it out for my one of my colors and then we're going to use my finnabear yellow for the other color and we're just going to start on the bees uh and the finnabear uh, yellow that i got i get them from hobby lobby and they come in like a set of i think eight different colors but none of the colors have a name on them uh, the bottle just says finnabear so i have no idea to tell you what the name of it is but I do know it's yellow <laughs> so we'll just go with that okay I'm stirring up that black in my cup and now I'm going to go ahead and add my resin to it I like to stir the mica powder up first in just a little bit of resin so that I can get that mica powder stirred up really good before I add my resin into the cup now I'm going to speed the video up a little bit because this part right here, I sprayed a little bit of alcohol in the mold. And that's to help for when I pour my resin into the mold, that it may pop some of the bubbles. So I'm putting a little bit of clear resin in the mold, only in certain spots. Because uh, there are little bitty, tiny, tiny places where I can drop beads into here. And I'm going to drop some little black beads in a certain parts of this mold. Where it has little spots where a perfect little small bead can fit into. And that's just the sections I'm going to put these little beads in. And yesterday, my video would not download to YouTube. And uh, I kept trying and kept trying. It, would not, it just would not. My internet was terrible yesterday. But uh, we are uh, in the process of changing a different internet company uh we've ordered everything we need and my husband's um gotta you know put it out there on the pole it's like some type of satellite thing 
So we're going to try to use that and see if we can get better internet because the, what we have now is it's just not worth a flip. <laughs> it's terrible. So I'm sorry about that, y'all. I, I, oh, it aggravated me so much that I could not get my video to download. <laughs> okay, now we're going to work on this B here. And I'm just going to drop in the black and the yellow. And I'm just going to go back and forth from the black to the yellow until we get our B uh, finished here. Okay, now we're going to start on this B right here, and this is the smaller B, and I'm just going to go ahead and go from the black to the yellow until we get this B filled in. Okay, now here's the hands, and we're going to go ahead and drop in our extra leftover resin that I had left over from the bees, and it's going to be the black and the yellow, and this is going to make for some interesting hands, you guys. There's a lot of dark colors in this set, so whoever likes dark colors, you might get in on this drawing. <laughs> I don't know what these are going to look like, because, you know, we've done, we've done the Halloween, uh, ghost and all those colors are in here and now the bees you know so it's a lot of dark colors in here <laughs> i have no idea what they're going to come out looking like but i know it's going to be interesting in the center because that's where i poured some of that glow powder at right down the center of the hands so that area is going to glow okay now i have some clear resin here and then this is the party mix. This is one of my mixes that I like to uh, mix myself. It's got like three different glitters in it. And we're going to do um, the honeycombs in this gold. This gold is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. 
It just sparkles and the glitter just dances right in your piece. It is just, oh, it's amazing. Okay, I need a little bit more. I love to use a lot of it. I'm going to get it started up really good inside my resin. Okay, I let it sit and degas for about five minutes. And now I spritzed my mold with some alcohol. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop this uh, gold glitter in my honeycomb piece, uh, the areas for the honeycomb. And it's a really tight spot in here to get these little tiny pieces right here. I probably should have got one of those little uh, skinny skewer sticks to do the little tiny, tiny uh, honeycombs. But maybe I'll, maybe I won't uh, drop it over into the bigger half moon. Because <laughs> I tell you, once you drop that glitter in there, it, it's hard to get out. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing okay. And now I'm just making sure that glitter is uh, all the way to the edge. And then I'm going to take one of my um, Q-tips here and I'm going to clean up around the edges. So that when I demold it, I won't have that cleanup to do. And I spilt some resin over here where the little tiny, tiny area is at for the little smaller pieces of the honeycomb. And I'm just going to take this, <clears throat> excuse me, this silicone tip tool here. And I'm just going to scrape where that, scrape the resin right off of there and uh, wipe it on my paper towel here. And I just keep going back and forth until I get it uh, clean and uh, off of my mold. Okay, now we're going to go over here and uh, fill this side up with the glitter. And I'm going to try to take my time over here in, <laughs> in those little bitty, tiny, tiny honeycomb pieces. There we go. I, don't, I didn't make a mess over here. Now I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol up here because it dried. And I'm going to go ahead and pour in these bigger pieces of the honeycomb. And you, uh, I want to get these completely full because I don't want to have to dome the back. Um, I don't think I'm going to need to dome the back. So, um, I want to... I want to get a little bit of extra resin in that mold because when resin cures, it shrinks a little bit. So I want to make sure that it's going to be nice and flat and, you know, just really nice and filled. And I'm just taking my skewer stick here and I'm poking down those, uh, the oblong pieces of glitter like to float to the top. So I'm just poking those back down because those are the pieces that are going to give me really, really good sparkle. So I want to make sure that I poke them down into the mold and keep them there. So I'll about 10 minutes later, I'll come back and I'll check it again and I'll keep poking those oblong glitters down. Now we're back and this has cured and we're going to go ahead and take out the honeycomb piece. Look at how that glitter sparkles, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? And the most sparkle is coming from those oblong pieces of the glitter. So that's why I was making sure that I kept poking them down, you know, to get the most uh, glitter pop that I could out of that glitter. It just, that glitter just dances around in that piece. It's so beautiful. 
And I'm popping these out now because we're going to have to um, make more pieces of these. And I'm going to leave the B in there because we're going to have to go another coat over that B. Now here's the resin. And we're going to go in with this Cast and Craft White. It's an opaque color. It's my favorite white to use. And you only need a little bit of it. But you have to stir it in really good because it, it'll leave, you know, uh, little strings of color in your resin if you don't stir it up really good. Now we're going to drop in just a little bit of glitter. It's the diamond dust glitter. It's white. And I'm going to stir it up really good. And I sped the video up a little bit because all we're doing is dropping the color over our bees and uh, dropping the white into the half moon right now. And I have some more resin over here. And we're going to put some more of that gold glitter mix into the resin. And stir it up really good. Let's spray some alcohol into the mold. And now let's go ahead and pour that white. And I'm going to pour it right over that B. And see this white is so opaque that you cannot even see that B. I love, love this white right here. I'm going to get my heat gun and I'm going to heat the resin up and pop any surface bubbles. And I see something in there, so I'm just going to grab it out right quick. And spray a little bit of alcohol. And now we're going to go ahead and make those other honeycomb pieces. I don't know what that was in there, but I had to get it out. <laughs> I think it was something that fell off of the tip of my heat gun because it looked kind of orange and I haven't used any orange right now. So uh, I think maybe it was a dried piece of uh, a cured piece of resin on the tip of my heat gun. Because sometimes I'll get really close to the resin and sometimes the resin will get on the tip of my heat gun. And then we just put some more white to back that B in that's on uh, the other side with the honeycomb pieces. Now I'm taking my little tool here and I'm poking that glitter, oblong glitter, back down in there. And then I'm going to move this piece over to the side after I do that. So you just take your tool and poke that oblong glitter back down into your piece. Because you really want that to shine, to, you know, to really sparkle. Okay, now we're going to grab this queen bee right here, and we're going to work on this one. I'm going to use this uh, neon mica powder. I get it from, uh, where did I get that neon mica powder from? I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. It, I think it came in a set of like eight different colors in the UV resin section, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm all, I think I'm almost certain that's where it came from. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of it in the uh, cap and then set the bottle over to the side. And I want the queen bee to be different, you know, because she's the queen. So I want her to just be different from everything else. So I'm going to take this uh, neon yellow and I'm going to brush it in certain parts of the mold. And then I'll take the black and brush it in certain parts of the mold.
Okay, now I'm finished with the B. And then here we're going to work in these cute little worker bees. Look how cute these bees are, you guys. They're going to be the worker bees. They are so precious. I love them. Okay, I'm going to spray a little alcohol in the mold here that we just brushed the mica powder on. Not much, just a little bit, because we don't want that alcohol to make our mica powder uh, drip, you know, or mess up in there. And I'm just going to pour some clear resin in first. And the reason why is because there's a lot of design down in this mold. So what that means is there's going to try to be a, some bubbles try to stick in areas of those that design that's down in here. And I don't want bubbles in my piece. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that clear resin in first. Just a little bit of it, not a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and get the bubbles out. Pick them out where I see them at. Which is not many in here. But uh, I need to get them out. And then we'll go ahead and drop our gold in the back of our bee. I'm just making sure there's no more bubbles in there. And I'm going to use my heat gun and pop any surface bubbles. Or pop any bubbles that I just now nudged and got to the top. Spritz a little alcohol. We don't have to worry about our mica powder running now because we just put a little bit of resin in there. So it's okay to spray that alcohol in there now. Or not worry about it, you know, messing what we just brushed in there up. And I'm just adding that mixture of the gold to my resin. And I'm going to get it stirred up really good in the cup. And I let it degas for about five minutes. And now we're going to go ahead and drop that gold into, into our bee. And I really couldn't tell if this uh, bee mold is matte or shiny. I, I really couldn't tell. I do know it's it wasn't really shiny, so that's what makes me think that it's a matte mold. You know, because the shiny molds are usually really, really shiny when you first buy them. But this one is kind of in the middle, so I'm not really sure if it's going to be a matte B or if it's going to be glossy. So I guess we'll just see. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> And now I'm just cleaning up my mess around the legs and stuff because I don't want that to cure there. And then it'll be a lot of cleanup for me to do. And the, around the legs is a really hard area to get into if I was to have to clean any resin off. You know, sand it or anything. It would be a really hard area to get into. So I'm just making sure that I clean that resin off of the edge of my mold. So I won't have to worry about that. And now I'm going to use my heat gun and pop any surface bubbles. Spray some alcohol. And we're done. Now we're going to work on our worker bees. And in this mold, all I'm doing is I have some gold bees and some uh, black beads. And these, all these bees, one of them is, uh, I guess it's like uh, smelling a flower. And then there's uh, another one. I can't tell if he's sneezing. It looks like he's sneezing. <laughs> but I'm just dropping in some of those black and gold bees for their little antlers. Or their feelers. Not antlers. <laughs> I say that all the time. Their little feelers. I'm poke, putting the black beads in there. And their little uh, feet. I'm putting black beads in. And then some of their eyes, I'm putting black beads in. And then some of them are getting gold eyes. And then I'm just, you know, putting these beads in certain areas of the mold. Just to put a little bit more decoration into our bees. And now the flower is going to be purple. Okay, we're back. And that part has uh, cured in our worker bees. Now I'm mixing up some of that uh, Mars black. 
and we're going to get some of this Finnebear yellow. Same colors we've used for everything else. And I'm going to go ahead and stir those colors up into my resin. That's a beautiful yellow. And I'm going to put a little bit of glitter into the yellow. And then a little bit of glitter into the black. We want our worker bees to be cute. And they got to have some glitter. <laughs> and I'm just stirring that glitter up in that resin a little bit before we get started. I'm going to spray a little alcohol. And I changed my popsicle sticks out to little skewer sticks so that I can get just a little bit of resin off of that stick because I'm going to move back and forth from the yellow to the black, you know, where the uh, bees' little bellies are at. It's got the little lines there. So I'm just going to go black and yellow, black and yellow. These bees are so cute. I absolutely love this mold. But you know, I uh, had to order another mold because I cannot find my other mold that's identical to this. But I got to tell you, I ordered one from Timu last year. And it was horrible. It was so thin that the uh, my resin was falling into the other bees. It was horrible. So... I put the link, if anybody's interested in this mold, I put the link in my description box for um, Amazon's, and then I put the link for Timu's. So you can decide on which place you want to purchase it from. But just a little heads up, like I said, the one that I got from Timu was horrible. And uh, maybe you won't have that experience. You know, if you want to take, you know, chances on it, maybe you won't have that experience. Maybe you'll get a, a better mold. I'm just telling you my experience, you know, from Timu when I purchased this mold right here. So I went ahead and ordered it off of Amazon again. It costs a little bit more money, but uh, it's a whole lot better mold. So I, I don't know what the deal is there. A lot of people say that these molds all come from the same place. No matter where you get them from. I don't know if there's any truth in that. I have no idea. <laughs> I can just share my experience with you. Okay, we're going to use the heat gun and pop any of those surface bubbles. And then we're going to spritz a little alcohol. And this is going to be a two-part video because I can't finish all of this into one video, you guys. So, you will you won't get to see the uh, worker bees demolded until tomorrow. And we're going to go ahead and use up the rest of that resin. And I can't wait to see the, those bees tomorrow. They're going to be so cute. I'm going to go ahead and finish dropping these colors into this mold. And then we're going to have to go ahead and end the video, you guys. But stay until the end because I want to share a piece with you all that I finished. I completely finished it and I want to share it with you all. It's about that time for a sweet goodbye and I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. Goodbye, my friends.